The Division has been one of the most anticipated games for the last several years, but hype for the game has died off a little bit to say the least. In this video, we'll be taking a look at 5 reasons why Tom Clancy's The Division might suck. Number 1. The game has been delayed several times. Anticipation for The Division began a long time ago. The game was initially announced at Ubisoft's E3 conference back in 2013 for the PS4 and the Xbox One. That's before those two consoles were even released. The game was first expected to release in 2014, then it got pushed back to 2015, and here we are almost three years later and now the release is finally here. Delaying a game in many cases is completely fine, the developers need an optimal amount of time to make a game. But at this point it seems like it's been a bit too much. And who knows, maybe the game isn't even fully ready now, but Ubisoft just needs to get the game out. That wouldn't be the first time a developer continually delayed a game only to release it at an unoptimal state. It's something to think about even if it isn't a foregone conclusion that the game will turn out that way. Number 2, The Graphical Downgrade The obvious major worry with The Division is the multiple graphical downgrades. The game that was showed at E3 3 years ago looks a lot different than the current product and not in a positive way. There was a lot more detail and better lighting in the original footage where now it looks like a subpar current gen game. Graphics aren't the be-all end-all for a game, but it is worrying that the developers had an original vision for the game, and they couldn't meet that so they had to dial it back a few notches. Are graphics the only thing they turned down? Could they have removed parts of the game and other content due to the long development time? Again, who knows, but it is a possibility. You're shit! Hit him on the left! Oh, I got a secret mine. Use it, use it. Here it goes. Nice, nice. Okay, last one, last one, last one. Ah. He's down. Ryan, you want to check out the crate? Number 3, the game doesn't include all of New York. Speaking of content being stripped out of the game, the division doesn't actually include all of New York, it's just Midtown Manhattan. This bit of important information only came out recently. What? Isn't this something that should have been abundantly clear with the announcement of the game? Or can I just be cynical for a second and think there were supposed to be more areas in the game but they got stripped out? Or is Brooklyn and Queens going to be DLC content? It just baffles me that we've had this game announced for nearly 3 years, but information like this only comes out less than 2 months of release. Now Ubisoft is saying that the game will contain a sizable amount of content, so that's great, but it seems either that there's going to be quite a bit of DLC to the game, or we've been misled for the last 3 years. That's not so great. Number 4. The Division is an extremely ambitious game. One thing that is commendable about The Division is its ambition. This is a game that's trying to break some ground, at least in Ubisoft's case. It's an open world third person shooter with Diablo-like looting in an MMO setting. It sounds pretty expansive to say the least. However, with games like this that are so ambitious, all the problems that I've listed so far should be twice as worrying. Because if one thing fails, it could end up being a domino effect. The Division reminds me a lot of The Crew. You remember that game? Coincidentally, that was also published by Ubisoft. The Crew was an open world MMO racer that had a lot of promise, but it turned out bland and unpolished in many areas. I would not be surprised at all to see The Division follow the same trajectory as The Crew. Can you help him out? I'm looting Zoe. And finally, number 5, the gameplay. This is probably the most important. 95% of games live and die by the quality of their gameplay, how unique it is, how polished it is, etc. Originally, The Division looked extremely realistic and making you feel like you were in a world filled with crisis. The game looks like Battlefield 4 and it plays something like Borderlands. That kind of gameplay works for those games, but with The Division, considering the setting and the objective of the game, it makes it feel really bland. There are people that like the run and gun sort of gameplay that Borderlands had and that's fine, but originally we thought The Division was going to be this dark game where you have to meticulously plan all your moves to get through mid-crisis New York. That really isn't the case and that's a shame. We each have a role to play in this fight. Here for a reason. So that wraps up 5 reasons why The Division might suck. What do you guys think? Do you think The Division will end up being a disappointment? Or will you be picking it up day one? Let us know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.